Welcome back everybody. So I have a trailer reaction for you tonight and this one is Shang Tsung Shang and the Legend of the Ten Rings trailer number one. I'll be honest with you straight from the start. I'm going into this reaction completely blind. I do not know nothing about this movie in any way shape or form apart from the fact it is being done by Marvel Studios and it's part of the Marvel Universe. Um, but apart from that I can't really comment on this anymore um to be honest and this is where you guys are going to probably come in and you can you can help me out and tell me a little bit more about this because i absolutely know nothing about this at all so on that note i'll just press play here we go Okay, so for somebody that knows nothing about it in any way, shape, or form, doesn't know this character, first time he's heard of it in any way, um, would that get me into the cinema to watch it? Yeah, it would. The trailer, it got me intrigued. Because I know nothing about it, it's now got me my uh, brain ticking and it's got me really, really intrigued. Chances are I'll probably do a bit of research on this or you guys will probably help me out. But, um... Yeah, I'm on board with this movie just from that trailer, to be honest with you. I actually generally enjoyed watching that trailer. And I got a feeling, as it's from Marvel, I will generally enjoy watching this Marvel movie. If I was to take a stab at in the dark, this guy is some sort of superhero or hero of some sort with probably some special ability, speed, or all sort of, there's probably more to it. You ha I have to apologise because I don't really know it. And he is given 10 years to live his life. Would that be something to do with 10 Legend of the Ten Rings? Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to piece this together from the trailer that I watched. And he kind of, instead of making it after his training, instead of using his abilities to maybe like help people or be a hero, he decided to, to take a different path. And then later on, obviously in this movie, you know, he is told, or he has to make that decision to actually become this hero that he was meant to be. That's kind of what I can get from it. I'm sure there is a lot more to this, um, but I, I really, really don't know that much. But from the look of the movie, from the visuals in this, the fight sequences by the looks of it, 
I'm on board with this. I really, really am. There's some great little scenes in there with some absolutely fantastic colour in it as well. I generally really, really like it. And it looks like it's going to be an action spectacle with some really good uh, action sequences as well by the looks of it, to be fair, just from this trailer. Um, and that's one of the biggest draws for this trailer that's probably got me into cinema is the action sequences, the colouring, the, the way that this shot as well. It just looks fast-paced, fast-tempoed. And... Also, for people that don't know him or this movie or this uni or this kind of arc story arc in the Marvel universe, it looks like you're going to get a backstory to him as well, which is be good for me because obviously I don't know this character. This is the first time I've ever heard of him, um, and that's kind of what I can get. And you can tell that just from the trailer because they're kind of putting telltale signs in there. But by far the biggest things is some of the visuals in that. Okay, there's some great colouring, there's some great sequences in there. I like in the way it's shot. Fast tempoed fight sequences, I suspect, or action sequences, I think it's gonna be a is a massive draw for me. Okay. And the fact that there is gonna be a backstory to his character for all those people that probably don't know them know him. Um, which is also a very, very good move and also very expected as well. Um that trailer alone has basically got me into cinema to watch it. Now, I generally do love watching Marvel, okay? Any of you that follow me, you know I'm a massive DC fan, okay? But I do generally love watching Marvel movies as well. I'm one of these people that love both, okay? I just don't know the Marvel Universe as well as I know the DC Universe. But the greatest thing with Marvel movies is, is that, yes, they're extremely entertaining, and they're good fun to watch. I'm always entertained um, by Marvel movies. Now, knowing that I don't know that universe, I know there's some movies out there that have been done by Marvel that some people don't like as much. But to me, I get entertainment from them. I enjoy watching them. It's as simple as that. But unfortunately, my big love is for DC. But, like I said, that trailer alone has got me into the cinema and it's got my brain thinking and I'm really intrigued and I want to go and see this movie which apparently is going to be in the autumn. I'm all good with that. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing another trailer before its release. Generally looking forward to seeing this in the cinema. Hopefully. As long as cinemas are open. Um, this is a movie which I think would deserve a cinema experience to be honest with you. So a movie like this that you can't watch this at home on a streaming site. It's one of those where you want to see it on a whacking great big screen, some great sound, great picture, and just sit down and enjoy, which will be a big action spectacle by the looks of it, which I'm all on board for. So, on that note, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below as normal. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Whatever you're doing, please take care and goodbye.